Hi everyone, welcome to The Shack. It's getting on for 1am. Um, I made this video because um, this evening I was hunting NDBs between Algeria on 252 kilohertz and the bottom end of medium wave when I came across uh, this image of the BBC Radio 4 signal on 198 kilohertz. Obviously this is 396 kilohertz, so the second harmonic is what it looks like. I was surprised to see and hear this signal because I was using the ICOM IC R8600, which is obviously a very high end receiver. And, you know, is this a problem with the receiver itself? Is it overloading? Um, I was using one of my Wellbrook loops. Um, so you don't expect to see a sort of overloading or images, etc., cetera, um, on a high end receiver. Um, I sort of couldn't believe it was a real signal. Um, but of course, one way to check that is to check it on more than one rig. So this is the signal on the uh, R8600. About plus 20 with the preamp on. Now, I, I don't need the preamp, but I've done it for a reason, I, for a little experiment in a minute. So strong signal. Um, and then I thought, well, let's see if that signal can be received with the Yaesu FRG100, again with the same Welbra loop, um, coming in to the shack via the um, uh, my antenna jet RF splitter. So that's two high quality receivers using the Welbra loop, and I can and I'm hearing the same signal. So. Okay, let's uh, go slightly less tech um, and listen to it on the Trio R1000 with a random wire out in the garden. About S6, I would say. So S6 on a random wire. S9 plus 5 dB on the Yaesu and S9 plus 20 on the ICOM. Uh, so this signal looks real. So. So if this is a real signal, um, uh, uh, I want to say real signal, I mean, if this really is a second harmonic of the uh, 198 kilohertz signal, then if we attenuate it, um, the amplitude of the signal should drop about double the level of attenuation. So if we add 10 dBs of attenuation, then the signal on 198 kilohertz should drop 10 dB, um, and the second harmonic should drop about 20 dB. So if, it's difficult to see very clearly, but at the moment the signal's plus 20, so S9 plus 20 dB. So let's put in 10 dB of attenuation, and he and now it's dropped to about S9. It's just peaking slightly over S9, so that's 20 dB of attenuation. So if we now go to 198 kilohertz, one, two, three, just to prove the point, um, let's take the uh, preamp out. We definitely don't need that. So without the preamp on 198 kilohertz, we have, let's turn the reference level down a bit. So what have we got? So we got a signal here that is peaking just under plus 60 dB. So that's a really strong signal on 198, it's plus 60. So this should now, the amplitude of the signal should drop linearly with attenuation. So what well, it's plus 60, so let's put 10 dB in, it should go down to plus 50, which it has. Put 20 dB in, and it goes down to plus 40, which it has. Um, put, th uh, put 30 dB in, plus 30. So it's, per so it's working perfectly um, on 198. And then if we go back to... Um, Three nine six one two three, um, and we need to let's put the uh, reference level back up. Of, uh, let's put the preamp back on. Attenuators off. And there we are, still peaking around about plus twenty. 
Israeli city of Tiberias. One person was hurt. 10 amps of DB. Ten, sorry, 10 dBs of um, attenuation, and it's down to S9 plus a little bit. Uh, 20, and it's down to sort of just over S5, so that's exactly right. So, so there you go. It appears that um, this second harmonic of the uh, BBC Radio 4 198 kilohertz signal is, is real. Um, um, which is a bit of a surprise, um, but obviously the, the, that station is um, being lined up to close for good anyway. So I just wonder whether they're cutting costs now in terms of transmitter maintenance, I don't know. There, there's local effects that can cause this. Um, but yeah, it just makes you wonder, doesn't it, whether the sort of, uh, whether the maintenance schedules are, are being adhered to as strictly now that, um, Radio 4, you know, will be closed at some point in the near to medium term. I don't think we actually really know, still don't know exactly when. Um, I, for one, would be sorry to see it go, obviously. Um, a point I've been making for quite a long time now, several years. But um, there you go. So we still have a signal. On 396 kilohertz. And that's the most surprising thing I've seen and heard on a radio for um, quite a long time, I have to say. But um, I thought you guys, some of you guys might find it interesting. So, uh, um, so there you go. Anyway, maybe um, when I, I'll try and post this as quickly as possible. Um, and maybe some of you guys who do comment on my videos can let me know whether you can see and hear this signal as well at your QTH. Um, but it's loud and proud in Oxford, that's for sure. Okay, well... Hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching and 73.